Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, I'm going to do your mid-year reading. I thank you guys so much for rocking with me and tuning in to the channel. If you are new to Real Love Tarot, welcome. I hope this video resonates with you all. If you've been watching me, cross-watching, or just watching my collective reads, um, you know my motto, if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. So only take what resonates and leave the rest, child. Yes, I am using the healer's hands uh, to put some healing on this Virgo because I feel like uh, energetically, I feel like you guys could use some healing at this time. I'm not going to start with the real love tarot deck, though. I'm going to use the uh, Monology um, tarot deck, okay? Let's get the current energy for Virgo. Someone raising me this north node or wherever your Virgo placements may majorly fall. Make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button so this message can get out to other Virgos who need to receive this message as well. Let's get into it, babies. Oh, I feel like you guys are swamped and overwhelmed, but let's just get into it. Let's see the energy here. What's coming for you guys this within the next six months? What can you expect? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me these messages beyond the white line of Tarot, the Oracle, and the Intuitive Deck for Virgo's highest good. Give me messages. Thank you. Come on now. <laughs> I said this. Why the devil here? Why is this Capricorn energy here? Three of Pentacles. Okay. There's multiple people just really hating on y'all. Let's just get into it. Okay. Because, oof, oof. Okay, <clears throat> I feel like you guys are overwhelmed and you over it. And I kind of was just, you know, being slight about it. But you got haters in your circle and it's real, real bad. Um, that's the energy I'm strongly picking up here with the uh, devil card here. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, don't have to be. But there is somebody in your energy who is really, uh, really going out of their way to collaborate, you know, some bullshit onto you. Uh, multiple people sending you the evil eye, possibly. Don't worry, I'm going to pull from the intuitive deck. And uh, maybe... Child. Give me messages. Because <laughs> I felt the energy strong. I hate when it gets this strong. And I feel like that's too many spirit. Nine of cups. Yeah, because you're getting your wishes fulfilled. What is it? The chariot and the six of wands. And you're getting victory and success. Okay. This this is a sideways card. It doesn't matter. Okay. You're getting victory and success. And you got this devil energy over here that's really upset and mad that you're you're actually getting your wishes granted. Somebody wants to like tear you down. Are these people, these individuals? Give me messages, spirit. For these people. Yeah, two of wands. Yeah, they want to stop your forward movement. Somebody really wants to see you broke, busted, and disgusted, Virgo. It's just, it's just giving you... Somebody is just trying to cause you stagnation. No forward movement. They want you to be stuck, but that's not the case. You're over here winning. You're, you know, you're get, receiving accolades. You're being noticed for what you do. Um, you, for some of you guys, I feel like you could be entrepreneurs with the three of pentacles here. You could be somebody who's a builder. Um, you, you're really good at, um, you know, being an entrepreneur. Somebody doesn't like that. Okay. Are these individuals three of pentacles? Somebody wants to maybe tear down your uh, your business or organization. Be careful. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. You're getting some truth and clarity about who these individuals are who are trying to stop your flow. Oh, my God. Why is this the energy here, Spirit? What's, what's Three of Swords. Yeah. Somebody is really going out of their way to cause you heartbreak. Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, and, and heavy burdens. I just can't make this shit up. Three of Swords and Ten of Wands. Could be Sagittarian energy here. It doesn't have to be Cancerian energy. Could be dealing with the Aries for some of you guys. I don't know. I'm getting that energy. Flip it. Yeah, the Hermit, Virgo energy. Here you are. Yeah, you're over here drinking your water, minding your business, and there is, the, and you, you know what I'm saying? 
for some of you guys, you're deep introverts. You don't, you're not just out here in these streets or whatever. You just really focus. You focus on your, you focus on your work. You focus, f focus. What is focus? <laughs> focus on your craft. You don't bother anybody. It's like, you're not out here being problematic and causing chaos, drama, and mayhem. Uh, that's the energy I'm getting here. Yeah. Strength. And somebody is wanting to tear you down. Mm-hmm. You know, you're over here focused. It's like somebody's also like intimidated by your strength. Leo energy you could be dealing with the Leo. Something about your strength really ir irks the shit out of somebody. I'm going to just keep it a buck, Virgo. You guys came right on out. Hermit energy. That's your energy. You guys, you know... You guys are ascending to a higher level of being. Um, you're again, you're being very victorious. You know, you're getting praise for the success that you've um made for yourself. Um, uh, for some of you guys, you're coming into some type of fame or big notoriety uh, for the work that you do, and um, you're not letting anything tear you down. Your strength is really irritating someone's demons really, really bad. Yep, death. And they really want to end that shit. They do. They Somebody really wants to end that for you, right? But their medicine source is in the reverse, okay? But I feel like spirit is slowing them down or they feel like they can't slow you down. Why is the nine of swords here? Why is the nine of swords here? Four swords, okay? They really want you to end you. Like, they... Somebody wants to slow you down and four swords like never and for you to just end off the face of the earth and never return. What's on the bottom of the deck? Two of swords. Yep. This is, uh, it's like somebody, it's like somebody, this could be your energy as well. Like you're in mental anguish. You know what I'm saying? It's like. You feel so overloaded with this energy. And I understand why, Virgo. It's like, it is overwhelming, okay? You know, you got people wanting to, you know, travel towards you only to, you know, steal and cheat and, and deceive you with the Seven of Swords here. It's like, the people that come into your energy don't really mean you well. It's just like, they're only in your energy to tell you, tear you down, to see what you got going on, see what you're doing, or whatever, and to manifest chaos, strife, and mayhem uh, onto you, okay? Yeah, dark magic. It's like, and they hope that you're too foolish to, to know that it's them that's trying to slow you down with the Seven of Pentacles. It's someone in your energy really going over and beyond to cause you a lot of fucking illusions with the Seven of Cups. I'm going to just keep it a smooth buck with you. Somebody is mad about this new beginning that you're getting with the Page of Cups. It's like somebody, and it's so weird because I feel like whoever this is, it's like this person admires you. Um, But it's like they're obsessively, they could be obsessively stalking you, Page of Cups. Queen of Swords. Uh, six of Cups, Three of Pentacles in the reverse is here. Ten of Swords. It's like they, yeah. Could be a Libra, Libra Gemini, Aquarius energy here that's only reconciling with you, but they're not really giving you true support. Um, or this is you um, getting support from a, a Queen of Swords. Somebody that you know. But but there's a third party here that's just not giving you any support. Take it out. Resonates. For some of you guys know, I feel like it's a queen of swords, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that you know from your past. That they want to reconcile with you, but you, it's like it's nothing but deep betrayals with this person, whoever this energy is. Okay? It's like you learn, like they could have turned cold or you could have turned cold for this person queen of swords energy like that's someone who's very cold-hearted 
Uh, well, usually in the reverse, but this Queen of Swords is in the upright. It just could just be somebody that you could have had some type of love connection with that you could have reconciled with or whatever. But when you reconcile with them, it, it didn't even work. It could be divine feminine or masculine. Take it out, resonates Virgo. It's just like this person offered absolutely no support of any, if anything, they took from the connection and caused you heavy birth, um, burdens and you guys could have went into a, a painful ending with this person. Yep, you could have just closed out the cycle with them because it was too many illusions, um, secrets, deceptions. You know, um, this person could have also been very insecure. And it, it just wasn't serving your highest good anymore. Yeah. Yeah, so you could have had to end something, Virgo, with the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Any strong Libra here, though. What is it? Yep, that was a judgment call. Yep. Why is the judgment here? Tower. Yeah. So you could have had a recent breakup with the uh, with this person. Hey man, you felt like he was being stuck, and it was just a stalemate. It was just like nothing within this connection was benef beneficial, especially not for you. I feel like you could have sacrificed so much and got so little. And whoever this person is, it's like they could have just been hating on, you know, the accolades, your prosperity, your gifts, or whatever the case may be. Take it how it resonates. King of Wands energy on the bottom of the deck. Why is King of Wands here? Yeah, you're too busy. You're you're really a boss. You're focused on your work and, and getting to the bag. Yeah, King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles energy here. That's your focus. But yeah, you're in your emperor mode. You're building the empire. Okay, you're for real, for real. You guys are over here focused on building, building the empire. And I felt like you were, you guys are carrying dead weight with the hangman energy. This person, whoever this person you had to walk away from uh, was just dead weight. And now that you walked away from them, they're definitely sending you an evil eye. What is it? King of Cups. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Yeah. So this person was, this person could be emotionally. It's King of Cups is an upright, but this person could be very emotional over you, very much in their head um, as well. You could have, uh, it's like you care for this person is also I'm getting to with the King of Cups, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. It's just like, I feel like you feel, you have feelings for this person. You, I mean, maybe not deep, emotional, romantic feelings with the King of Cups, but you have feelings for like you care about them or whatever. But this person kept you trapped in your head all the time. And you always stay like walking on eggshells with the Nine of Swords energy. That's the, you know what I'm saying? You could maybe feel guilty about walking away from this person, but Spirit is telling me it's for your highest good. What else, Spirit? Ten of Pentacles in a reverse. Yeah, because like if you had stayed, you was never going to prosper with this person. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Justice. Ace of Cups. Yeah. The, yeah, this is also too, like you, this is just a sign that you broke up with this person. Like you let it go. Whatever this was, and you're going towards real happiness or whatever. Six of Pentacles, yeah. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. And this person was bad for your reputation is what I'm getting here too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sun card here. It's like you want to be happy. You know, you want to be happy. You know? And you will be more happier um, after letting this go. Rewind the video. And I'll pull this card, these cards up or whatever. Let me get, I'm going to get some backstory. I'm going to pull from the um, Oracle deck, from the Villa Tarot Oracle deck to see what else comes out about this situation. Um, and what you guys could expect within the next six months or what's in your current energy. Uh, moving forward but yeah i feel like moving forward though you you'll be more happy and i feel like also you'll be more apt to you should be more apt to just use better judgment or discernment when it comes to situations when it comes to matters of the heart um i feel like for some of you guys you really try to help um an individual and 
really be there, be a support system, but you just wasn't giving it the support you was giving wasn't being reciprocated. And that's just facts. I feel like this person had too many insecurities. Yeah, on the split. While you're sitting up here giving beautiful energy, let's just get into it. This person has secret animosity towards you. Wow. Yeah. Competition or competing with you. It's just like, baby, you can compete where you don't compare. Yeah. Somebody got caught in the act doing something they had absolutely no business doing. Wow. Okay. It's like, don't let this negative energy... You know what I'm saying? Turn you into an ugly, bitter, 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 bitty bitch. Like, <laughs> divine feminine, our masculine, check it out, resonates, what I'm just saying. Yeah. For some of you guys, um, if you haven't heard from this person since you broke up with them, for some of them, they could have caught, could have got, could have gotten themselves caught up with the law or they had some type of legal issues going on. Check it out, resonates. I don't know why that's coming up with the energy. Yeah. What else do you need to know? Purposely, yeah, it's like also too, you were dealing with um, either this person or individuals who was purposely misleading you to cover up the truth about shit. The fact that they were competing against you or in, in secret competition, purposely love bombing you. What else do you need to know? Yeah, you went within just like a Virgo would. It's like you, you went within and you discovered the truth about a situation. And, you know, now this person could be feeling defeated but they had you feeling defeated and i i can see how you would be feeling defeated though because for a lot of you the energy i'm picking up is just like you did everything you could to turn the situation around and maybe like chance after chance after chance and every time it just got worse worse and worse right somebody wants your forgiveness though yep but you said I could show you better than I could show. I could teach you better than I could show you. <laughs> I could show you better than I did. Uh, what's this? What am I trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. I could show you better than I could tell you. Student versus teacher energy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I could show you better than I could tell you. Block energy. Yeah, this person was holding a lot of secrets, hidden emotions, things like that, and you just. They have blocked energy and you just started to realize the truth about a situation. Something that you could have researched or found out. Lessons learned. All right. All right. Virgo, that's what I have for you guys um, so far. All right. I do want to kind of get into your prosperity, though. Let's just see what comes out. What's um, coming towards Virgo for their prosperity within the next six months? Their financials. <laughs> What's the financials? I'm trying not to, you know, just do too much of this. Too many of the karmic reads or whatever. But the karmics be coming out, baby. I gotta, I gotta let y'all know what it is, okay? What's going on with the financials for Virgo for the next six months, Barry? Give me one second. What's the financials? There it is. Ace of Pentacles. I know that's right. It's very sad. Don't, I don't know about that little money that they got coming in. I know that's right. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Yeah, you're going to be getting new offers, new job opportunities, and things like that. Emperor, you better build. Aries Energy, yeah. Listen, Dad, you're going to have a rebirth. Yeah, to the Ace. Yep, that's the truth. All right, so that's a good sign. There's going to be forward movement. With your financials, you guys are going to have a whole new rebirth. You know, death doesn't always mean endings. I mean, it does, you know, it's new beginnings as well right <clears throat> yes oh wow eight of pentacles in a reverse lack of focus unmotivated lazy needy repair okay so some of you guys are gonna have to like um refocus because some of you guys have gone through like a really deep burnout but why is the ace of Pen eight of pentacles in the uh reverse queen of cups oh queen of swords okay knight of pentacles Okay, so, oh, these are individuals who purposely tried to slug you down. They're going through the Eight of Pentacles. They're, whatever they sent towards you is backfiring. Thank you. Empress Energy, Five of Wands. Could be a mother figure, Hierophant. Conflict, Six of Swords. Or there's a mother energy that's going to help you overcome some type of conflict or whatever. Or this is uh, for some of you guys who is married, okay? 
I, this is the energy of like whoever this empress energy is is going to help you overcome some type of conflict thank you spirit ten of pentacles there it is all right i know that i was just like oh child what is it there for movement okay charity energy that's good signs all right love bugs i'm gonna leave it there for you guys i hope it resonates with you give you some type of clarity a little bit more understanding about what's going on in your energy or what's going to be happening over the next six months if it has not happened already but you guys can um expect the complete turnaround um your finances is going to be looking good all right um but there's people who try to wish on your downfall this is all being returned to center you guys are being protected so don't even trip all right friends show that that's a good sign to me all right virgo if you guys would like to book any of these um book a reading or purchase excuse me purchase any of these uh real love tarot decks or whatever all the information you need to know is in the description box below as well as to book a personal reading or if you would like to donate to the channel i truly appreciate you all and i see you guys on the next run round bye virgos